In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to fade video in and out. In this example, the project contains only this one video clip. This means you cannot use transitions, and you don't have to use the blank video clip. Let's start a new project. Tap on video, tap new, and choose the video clip that you want to edit. Notice there's a blank clip here that can be added to the beginning or the end if you want to use a transition, but I'm going to use the fade effect instead. So I'll just tap on the video clip, tap on the check mark. You can see if I scrub forward that this is one video clip with no edits or cuts. I'll scrub back to the beginning. What you want to do is tap on the filter icon from the main toolbar, then choose effect. These are all the effects available inside InShot. Tap on Fade. And the first two effects will be available in the free version. The last three require you to upgrade to InShot Pro. To add the effect, all I have to do is tap on it. You can set the duration of the fade by increasing or decreasing the value slider. I'm going to leave that the way that it is and show you why using the fade effect works. Notice these two little diamonds here. This effect is set to fade in. So I can tap on the check mark. And I'll play the video from the beginning. Go to the end of the video, scrub back a few seconds to right about there, tap effect, tap on fade, and I'll choose black. I like to fade in and out to the same color. Notice that it still fades in from black. Instead of selecting the first diamond, which is selected now, just tap on the second one to select it, and you'll see that instead of fading into black, the video will actually fade out. Let me tap on the check mark. I'll play the video a few seconds from the end inside the effects editor. If there's a problem, you can select the effect and tap on either end of the effects bar. In this case, the video clip ends before the effect does. So I just need to tap on the right hand facing arrow and choose either video end or clip end. This is important. You can choose clip end and that will adjust the end of the effect to the end of your video clip. I'm going to tap on the check mark and I'll play the video clip once more. Notice the video fades in, plays for a bit, and then eventually it will fade out. Watch what happens as the video plays through to the end. It fades out to black. If you'd like, you can then tap on the share icon and tap save. If you need to change your resolution or frame rate or the format, you can do that here. I'm going to leave the settings and just tap on save to export the video. Notice that it says not to close the app or lock your screen while the export is happening. If you do this, the export will be interrupted and you'll have to do it again. You can find your exported video inside your camera roll.